Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, MBS, Entertainment Center. Saudi Arabia's King Salman was set to start the launch of the Entertainment City building on Wednesday, which was postponed three days with no reason given. Saudi Arabia has postponed the launch of its entertainment town three days, a portion of a series of multi-billion dollar projects as the oil-reliant kingdom seeks to diversify. The launch, scheduled to take place on Wednesday, was meant to signal construction of the new project in Quaidia, southwest of Riyadh. King Salman will inaugurate next Saturday the Quaidia project, which is the new entertainment, sports and cultural destination in the kingdom, the state-run Saudi press agency said, without explaining the delay. Officials expect the construction for the first phase of the development, touted as Saudi's Disneyland, to be complete by 2022. Construction for the first phase of development, which would include high-end theme parks, motor sport facilities and a safari area, is expected to be completed in 2022, officials say. The facility highlights a relentless effort to develop giga projects that will help achieve many direct and indirect economic returns. Project official Fahd bin Abdullah Tunsi was quoted as saying in a government statement on Monday. The ambitious project, announced by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in October last year, will establish a 26,500 square kilometers, 10,230 square miles, zone dedicated to several industries, including biotechnology, water, food, energy, water and entertainment. In February, Saudi Arabia's General Entertainment Authority said it would stage more than 5,000 festivals and concerts in 2018, double the number of last year, and pump $64 billion in the sector in the coming decade. Saudi's young crown prince has been at the helm of a program of reforms, known as Vision 2030 looking to modernize the country. The ambitious young leader aims to revive the Saudi economy by diversifying it away from its reliance on oil exports, as well as driving up domestic spending through the creation of cinemas, music venues and theme parks. Long known for its ultra-conservative mores, the kingdom has embarked on a wide-ranging program of social and economic reforms driven by Mohammed bin Salman. Recent months have witnessed concerts, a comic con festival and a mixed-gender National Day celebration that saw people dancing in the streets to thumping electronic music for the first time. The newfound openness, which includes plans to allow women to drive from June this year, has been hailed by some as a crucial liberalization of Saudi society. Critics have pointed to continued restrictions however, especially on women who remain under a strict guardianship system that gives male relatives significant control over their lives. Protests have also followed the 32-year-old prince as he embarked on his Western tour, who also holds the position of defense minister, over the ongoing Saudi-led bombing campaign in Yemen which has devastated the country and killed thousands of civilians. The prince is also accused of orchestrating a crackdown on opposition in the kingdom, including rounding up politicians and businessmen on trumped-up corruption charges. Yeah.